What's up everybody? Doing another product review. I believe this is from Wish. Something I ordered off of Wish. Uh, we'll find out right now. I started to open it, but then I said, hold up. So, let's see what we got in here. I'm excited. What's in it? I think this might be my son's Orby shooter. I'm happy if it is. Pieces. Nope, it's not. It's a shower caddy. It's a shower caddy. What I got off of Wish. I think I paid one dollar for this. Oh, I thought it was uh, Essentially, it's little hooks for the shower. Keep organized. Looks like right from the gate. Without the package being open, I think y'all can see that there's a dent in the rod. I haven't even opened the package yet. I mean, it seemed to be packaged pretty well in this cushion and then in that bag, but you see it. So let me open it up, show you guys the final product. All right. Package is off. There's that dent. It's a pretty flimsy rod. Look, it's not even a freaking circle. It's a little bit better, but still not really a perfect circle. And it's really, really, really flimsy aluminum or whatever this is supposed to be. As a matter of fact, watch. You see that with two fingers? I just bent it a little bit more. That's how flimsy it is. Anyway, here goes one of the suction cups with two hooks. And one, two, three, four extra hooks. And then this is the tray. All right. So now to figure this out. Uh, what the hell is this rod for? Ah. So I'm assuming. Put it in there? Yep, put those hooks in there, but for me, bud. Is it hard to do? Because it's not a good circle. All right, good. Next one. Nope. Turn it around. It has to be hooked forward like this, even. You see how the hook is? Turn it. There you go. Good job, buddy. Next one. Yep. Next one. Nope. Turn around. There you go. If you put it on straight, it will go in easier. There you go. Alright. That was a damn struggle, but we got them on. That's cool. And you just turn it and it goes up. Alright. And now I will show you guys the final product after I finish. Yeah. So, this is how the little suction cups go on. Can you see the suction cup going in there like that? Yeah, I see it. It's supposed to click into place there, but there we go. Yep. After three tries, but we got it. Good job, Dada. Thank you, thank you. Oh, look at the flaw here. Show the camera. See, it's bent in. Yep. Again, guys, I paid a dollar for this thing, so 
I'm really not complaining about the bends and the flaws. I expect this kind of stuff, and you should too. And the people who do complain are people that think they're entitled. People that are stuck up and too good for their damn self. Alright. And now... Last part. Finally, these guys go in there. Um, okay, I realized I did something wrong. What wrong? So the holes for the rods are on the outside. I didn't notice that until now. You can't switch it. So what I have to do is I have to take this out. And I don't know how to do that without breaking it. Alright. Well, I figure this out and put you on pause. Alright, I switched them over. Now, you can see the insides are where the rods is going to go. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry, Daddy. It's okay. I'll go in this hand, see it better right here. Well, this is difficult to hold the camera and try to do this with one hand. And guys, this is my second product review, so if it's not up to your standards, go F yourself and check out other reviews. Um, I know my shit will get better, and uh, yeah, again, this is a cheap product off of Wish. I'm getting really sick of people that sit there and complain about what they got off of Wish when half the time they didn't pay nothing but a dollar or two in shipping and expect a fucking gold mine. Alright? Is it done? Is it done, Daddy? Alright, well second mistake I did was I put the rod with the hooks facing in obviously the suction cups here so this is gonna go against the wall those hooks should be facing out so now I have to take it apart again and do it all over but it's a good thing that I'm doing that while doing the review so that if you guys decide to buy this you guys know not to make these mistakes so we'll be right back Another little tip I have now that I've done it 14 times is put the rod in the suction cups before putting it onto the tray. Obviously, you guys seen what came out of that package. There is no type of instructions. So, here is your instructions. Alright guys, got the pull back on, suction cups on, trays on, hooks on the right way. I think we're all set now. Again, that bend in the pole makes it so that these hooks don't flow freely, which I kind of like in a sense, but in another way, no good. So I'm gonna go set, put this on the wall and show you the final product in use. Go. All right, lastly, before I assemble this, I want you guys to know these hooks right here actually get hooked downward and it causes the suction cups to actually stick against the wall. If you do not pull these down like so, these suction cups won't stick. They kind of do and then they fall off. All right. It's another thing I had to learn on my own, standing here trying to get these damn things to stick on the wall and I'm like, damn, this doesn't even work. And then I realized if I don't break it, that that is how you do it. And now it goes from four hooks to six. And that is the final product, guys. Right, so far, you know, your bath toys, whatever it makes you happy. Put on top. This here was another item I got off of the Wish. It came assembled and 
was intact without any damage. This guy's same type of idea as this as you just saw. Kind of clip it in and it stays. That has stayed up, hasn't fallen off, fell off, and uh, I've had quite a bit hanging on it. So we'll see how this one holds up. But that's your final product. Okay, so I had to move the location of this thing because within probably three minutes of me making the product review video, it fell off. So I'm thinking maybe because there is those blotches on the wall and it's an uneven surface, the suction didn't stay. So I moved it upward where it's more of a smoother surface and hope that it stays. I still only have that tiny quarter of a soap bar on there so it's not because of weight but now I'm curious to see what happens when I put a little bit more weight on it. Times two. Uh, two packages both of these are from the Wish site. So let's open the first one. Soap dish holder, suction cup. Made out of plastic. All right, comes in two, two, uh, two pieces. And looks pretty simple. Um, again, no instructions, but this one's a lot more. Um, what do you call it? Cut and dry, if you will. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. We shall see. Alright, so there's looks looks to be a little bit of a curve in this one. You guys can see that? Bit of a U. I don't know if that's because it's bent. I'm assuming that's because it's bent. I do not think that that is supposed to be like that. Because this here is not curved. So, see if I put it in on an angle, it doesn't want to go in because it's bent. So we gotta kind of force it in there. There we go. Yeah, so again, I got another item off Wish that was maybe a dollar, maybe two. Um, came in, you know, within two weeks of purchase, which is to be expected because, again, this is coming from, I think, either China, Hong Kong, one of those. It's uh, sent through China Post. Um, but there it is. It was a little bent, but I made it work. It's one piece now. And stick it to the wall now and show you guys the final product hey guys I figure I add this to my wish bathroom accessory product review line uh, you have your toothbrush holder and your toothpaste dispenser all right a couple things to note these guys came with self adhesive tape on the back of them and when I put them up on the wall 
it fell right down as soon as I put toothbrushes on there so basically with a little bit of weight it couldn't handle it so I actually had to go out and purchase 3M double sided tape and remount these myself but with the right tape they work perfect All right. Just how it works, you kind of just put the toothbrush head in and close it for this guy. Something like this. There goes toothbrush holder and some toothpaste dispenser. Um, I will also say that getting that toothpaste dispenser to work, it took me about 30 pumps before I could get that to come out. And I think my son or my daughter must be playing with it because as you guys just saw it took me like three times to get a little bit back on my toothbrush so I think they messed with it a little bit because it's not working like it was after my 30 initial pumps when you put the toothbrush under and you press this guy it actually was coming out perfect um, the first try each time um, as you can see it's already sucking some of this out. Uh, so there goes that. That's uh, product number five in the Wish bathroom accessory colorful review. One, two, three, four, five. Hope you guys enjoyed these reviews. Hope they were helpful. Uh, hope you decide if you want to make that purchase or not. Again, a couple bucks each, if that. Alright. Imperfect. But cheap, quick solution. To any of your bathroom struggles. Alright, y'all. Keep it 100, because I'm 730.